Okay, welcome back. So this is a problem from the 2024 European Girls Olympiad. Um, and... What the... Okay. So I want to maximize the number of... It's not asking to maximize the number of quadruples, actually. It's like, maximize the number of... Um, pairs for which there exists another pair whose gap is doubled. So this is an all shifting invariant. Um, you can shift uh, by anything, it doesn't do it. Anyways, so for n equals 3, this is going to just be, if I take a thing and it's two midpoints, um, this is good, this is good. So it's like two pairs. I think it's, that's just, all right, n equals 4. You know, I feel like if I just take, like, AI equals I, that's actually quite good, right? Like... Yeah... Um... Can I do better than that? Okay, so if I just do, like, four consecutive integers, um, then, like, one, three... Two, sorry, one, two, two, three, three, one, or go fine. Sorry, yeah, stop. But none of the larger ones are. If I do something a little different, um, one, like that. So if I do one, one, two, is that better? Yeah, this is okay. This is better because this you get um, four pairs, according to one, two, two, three, three, four, and then one, three. Sure. Yeah, so it seems like if I pick powers of two, it works. Oh, wait, actually, powers of two works absurdly well. Um, like if I go to n equals five and pick one, one, and one, one, two, four. Um, so this this is this is kind of like a ruler, right? Like in the sense that I can get any, I can measure any number up to four. I can't. Uh, there, there's no way to measure five, but I can get all the. Do I want to switch the order of these somehow? Uh, anyways, th this construction is still pretty good, though. Um, this gives you what? So, what what are the lengths that I can get from this ruler? So, I can get... Three, four. Six. So like the possible lengths that could be doubled, like one, two, three, four, um, are all check out. Like two, four, six, eight are all possible lengths you can get. So there's like the set of interesting pairs like this, this, this. This thing, this thing, this thing, this thing, and are there any others? Oh, okay. Uh, seven. It's like almost all of them, actually. Six, seven. Wait, that's really high. Really? It's that high?
Wait, this this actually feels. I feel like I shouldn't have been able to get more than like six. Or no, that, that's not true. But okay, if I do this in general, what's the thing I get? Um. So if I do the powers of two thing, like. One, one, two. Well, let me just do the next one. So, 12, 6, 3, 6. <laughs> okay, well, okay. What's happening, I think, is like for almost every um, thing, you can just shift it over one. Like,. So, the only ones that don't work are the things that contain 8, right? So, this is a maximum, the maximum score is 15 on here. And everything that, it's like, the only ones that don't work are these four. Like, 8, 8 plus 4, 8 plus 2, 8 plus 1, 8 plus 1. So, this is like 11 pairs. Because anything that starts from here and goes to... Um, it's, it's a power of two. Anything that starts inside this region, you just bump it one over. And then... Yeah, and then you have the eight itself. So in general, you can get... Um, you can get up to n choose two minus n minus one. Or n minus two. Yeah. With this construction. Hmm. If I if I had just done powers of two, does that work better? I don't think I think if I just do one two four eight sixteen um thirty two or something or one two four eight sixteen I feel like that's actually is that better or worse? I think that's worse because this thirty two doesn't pair up anymore. Like this one no, actually, one to sixty-two. Actually, this might be the same. Hang on. Uh, oh, sorry. This one extra thingy here. Yeah, so the difference with this construction, the reason it's worse, because this 16 doesn't pair with anything. So this misses five things instead of just four. You forgot in binomial second. Wait, what? Uh... What? There will be an all number of pairs in that case. Okay, anyways, um, I think you can bound this now just by f as follows. So given a bunch of these numbers, um, in the general situation, th here's why you can't do better, all right? What you do is you t look at the marks on the ruler, you have a bunch, and you take the midpoint of all of them. And there's kind of two cases, one where the midpoint doesn't lie on the thing, and one where it does.
So anything that crosses the midpoint, um, anything that starts from one end and crosses the midpoints, for example, this, will obviously not work. I mean, n choose two. It's n choose n minus two, isn't it? Wait, aren't n choose two and n choose n minus two equal? Like this, this is n choose n minus two, right? Oh, um, where was I? Um, like this thing will be always be bad. This thing will always be bad. And the point is that this construction is so good. Like the what this thing that's like slightly off powers of two is so nice that that's actually the only things you will miss. So if you have in general um, a things to the left and b things to the right of the midpoint, uh, you get like b minus one misses here, a minus one misses here, and then the, yeah, so it's like a plus b minus one. So I think that's 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 just it, and this will give you a bound that you want. So I am happy to just call this the final answer. I think this is a complete proof that this construction is best possible because um, intervals that start at either the far left or the far right and cross the corresponding midpoint will never work for size reasons. And then you have the correct number because it matches this quality case. Um, so I, I think this is just it, right? Did I miss anything up? Okay, um, cool. Yeah, I feel like I'm surprised the construction is actually achievable. Like, this bound feels really bad, but you could actually get it. So. Alright. Amazing. Alright. Uh, alright. Well, for those of you on YouTube, um, that's all. Thank you for tuning in. And then we'll catch you all next time.